I think about if I ran a news network, I'd probably just make my number one story uh, Kanye West, Pete Davidson, and Kim Kardashian, which used to be oh, the they, E network. Yeah, I mean, but what a, right, what a that's, story. That's exactly right. I know Pete real well. Like, he's just a kid trying to live his life. I, I've had Pete One on of my show. favorite people. Yeah, he's, he's just a fucking smart, funny uh, kid trying to live his life, and, and he's just caught up in, you know, and he's doing, I think he's doing uh, as best you can in that situation when you're dealing with, with something that's so explosive and, and loaded with all kinds of other uh, things. And uh, uh, I just love that kid. How do you know him? From the comedy clubs? Is that how you met him? I think because I'm incredibly hip and with it. Yes. I think the kids want to know you. Yeah. I think, yeah. I think, you know, so a lot of times I walk down the street <laughs> and people will say, who's that Ernest Borgnine looking motherfucker. Uh, I'd like to, I'd like to hang out with that guy. No, he and I know each other from comedy, from, from going on the road. Uh, Dave, Dave and I were doing gigs in Boston and Houston and Pete came out and performed and him and Mulaney worked near where i live in jersey so i would go and buy pizza from a place and we'd just go hang out and we just became we became friends uh from that and i you know i always have like a you know a very paternal instinct on on those guys you know you always feel like because you you just i've seen too many of my friends get in trouble and some of them die and and you don't you know do it's young guys, it's a fucked up business. These younger guys, when they see you at these comedy clubs, mm -hmm. uh, do they ask your advice? Do they seek you out? Sometimes, but, but not explicitly like that. I think it's more, you, you know how this is like that. It's that back table at the, at the club and mm -hmm. everybody's doing their sets. And it's, it's the, the fun of why we got into it is to hang out with, to not have a real job, to dress like shit, to go out at night and, and drink and eat lousy food and hang out with other hopefully very funny people uh i do think at times there's a there's a stereotype about the comedy world as being sort of not supportive or not and it's and it is like look it's it's a business it's cutthroat to some extent but there's a real camaraderie 